morning. Today I'm going to show you how to reset the image chip. You can either take it out uh, and do it that way or you can do it in situ like this. You need to make yourself a little reader like that. It's not hard to do. It's a little piece of plastic, a rubber band to give it a little bit of... Uh, um, and then that just pops in there like that. So, it's exactly the same software. Oh, that's not going to find it, because so, it's not plugged in. Plug it in. There we go. And... Get the uh, KeepProg software open. And... I'll just put that down there for a second. Let's plug that in there. When you when you make this, you need to um, make sure that the that the one connection goes to the back and the three connections to the front. So there's the KeepProg software. Uh, again, uh, what you need to do, well, let's just read this, let's just plug that in, and read, okay, view buffer, and as you can see, that's read the data that's on that chip, so, on the disk that I send, Let's just come out of that. Open file. Uh, there are a number of image there are a number of image bin dumps on there. So there's let's have a quick look. Bin dumps. Where's it gone? Here we go. Image units. There we go. Can you see that? Image units, various. So, 6140. Uh, that image dump is there. We've left that chip in place there like that. And we go right. Yes, we do. Okay. View buffer. And as you can see, the data has now changed, so that that chip in there now will work with a 6140, and as you saw, is 8% full. So there you go. Uh, there's no extra software. There's no extra uh, things. You just need to make yourself a little reader like that. Um, there you go. It's not complicated. And um, thank you very much for watching my little video.